Hey, welcome back. Some people would call this the Dueling Excel podcast. Although I'm not sure this one's much of a duel because I'm just going to sit back and watch Mike do all the work because he came up with a tough one. I'm going to explain the problem. I'm Bill Jellin from Mr. Excel. We'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. Uh, VJ sent this question in. I have some text over here and using the left function to get the number. How cool. And then uh, tried to use the aggregate function. So this 9 says we're going to sum and this 6 says we're going to ignore errors. Uh, but that is not working. And then tried to use the array version of aggregate and that's clever. That's awesome. Aggregate does work with arrays if you're using 12 through uh, what is it, 18 or 19. It's only the new ones that they added that the arrays work. They didn't make the arrays work for 1 through 11, which what? is just the one that they needed, the sum. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, work. what's up with that? So Mike says that he has a formula uh, that'll solve this. He actually says he has several formulas and it, it irritates me because I can't think of a single formula. So I'm going to sit back there and watch him do these and I'm going to try and come up with one uh, at the end. So Mike, let's see what you have. All right. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Um, you know, a cheap and dirty one, the, the left over there was a great idea. So I'm just going to say um, if this is equal to blank, which means when it gets down here, the left function has trouble with that. I'm going to say blank. Otherwise, please give me the left of this comma 1. It extracts that. All right? And then copy this down. Now, wait a second. Now, if I try to add these right here, alt equals, the sum function is programmed to ignore text. So what I really need to do is slightly alter this. I'm going to do something like add 0 or do a double negative. Some operation on a number stored as text will convert it back to a number. All right, so that's one uh, way to do it, especially if you like it in uh, a column and you want to see all the individual numbers here. Now another cheap and dirty way, watch this, is let's just do left. Actually, I should just go equals left of this comma one. Now left, when it, when you copy it all the way down, if there's nothing, it'll it'll put nothing there. And then I'm just going to do the cheap and dirty way. Since some function ignores text, if you use the operator plus, it won't ignore text. <laughs> <laughs> that is the word you wait you teach Excel and you're going to use that formula. Yeah, I would fail any of your students who use that formula. It would work. You never sum that way. It, yeah, it does work, but that's oh. bad. Okay. <laughs> and maybe if you wanted a single cell formula, let's see. Uh, sometimes doing an array formula, you can steal the single one and then just uh, expand it. Maybe uh, if, uh, no, that's not going to work. How about the equals uh, if, uh, no, equals left. And then I need to have an if inside of it because I don't want the blank. So I'm going to say if anything in here is equal to blank, then give me a 0. Otherwise, give me this. Now, that's the if dumping something into left. And I'm going to do 1 on that. And just see what, what this will give me. F9. Still, it's giving me text, but it's all numbers, right? So now I can do uh, double negative, and guess what? What if I put it in some product? Some product is not going to work, and the reason why is the uh, if function, we put an array in there, and it's going to absolutely, no matter what, require control shift enter. So let's not put product. Because some people might look at it and go, oh, it doesn't need control shift enter, control shift enter, and there's an 18. Control shift enter, CSE functions. CSE, the famous abbreviation from the Mr. Excel control books. Shift enter. You know, I started calling them CSE because I could never remember what the heck the keystroke was. And I would write it on a little sticky note, a little sticky note. But it's funny, I would only use these about six times a year. And the sticky notes, the glue on the sticky notes, it, it would fall off. And the, <laughs> the cleaning crew would come through and my sticky note would be gone. What was in those keystrokes? So I started calling them. CSE. All right, so the goal, as I understand it now, I've been sitting back here, is we want to add up all these numbers. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Ready? Alt D E. Alt D E. Fix what? Click next. Get rid of that one right there. We have that one and this one. In the next step, we keep the first one, second one. Do not import. 
finish. Control 1 and we're going to say custom and it is going to be for positive numbers. We're going to have 0 x school. For negative numbers, we're going to do nothing. For 0, we're going to do nothing. Click OK. All right, we're going to send this back to VJ. Wow! And we're going to say, we're not going to tell VJ we changed anything. We're going to say, VJ, what's wrong? It's a simple <laughs> sum function there. And, uh, sweet. Point to Mr. Excel. I don't think so. Control this shift is, tilde. <laughs> control shift what? Control shift tilde. What the heck is that? What is control shift tilde? It applies the general number format. Uh, control shift tilde for <laughs> any any number format. It's an eraser. I tell my students in my class that's the eraser for number formatting. The eraser. That's I am. All right. <laughs> if anyone out there understands what Control Shift Tilda does, please send me a note, Bill and Mr. Excel, and explain it to me. <laughs> you have to understand. So, you know, I flew out to Seattle last night. I got here like at two in the morning. I slept for three hours. Listened to great stuff at Microsoft all day today. But I, I should not be doing dueling podcasts today. All right. But that's the beautiful thing about Excel. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Oh, or a dog. Or a dog. <laughs> well, hey, I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel. Excel is fun. <laughs>